Hello, welcome to the update from September's board, which we held in Leicester Arnold Lodge last week. A really good session, uh, an awful lot to go on and summarise in just a few minutes, but here are a few highlights. Um, first of all, there's an awful lot going on nationally at the moment with regard to all things political and Brexit. Um, and the NHS is mandated to make sure that we've got all our plans in place. So thank you to everybody that's contributing to making sure that we can continue to deliver great services over the next few months. It's going to be a challenging period, what with winter coming to. We had uh, a really great update from the healthcare team from North Knots, giving us an insight into their world and the day-to-day -day challenges that they have with regard to managing really significant transformation, organisational change. And they're a great um, advert for some of the fantastic leadership we've got in the Trust and how they've managed what's really been a, a difficult transformation. And at the end of the day, the staff have been on the receiving end of some really difficult decisions. And I want to, again, thank everybody that's been involved and in starting to come through that. And we've seen some really good positive steps forward over there. We focused on um, quite a deal of operational pressures. Um, demand across the system is massive already uh, and we're not in winter yet and we're not in the bad weather but for example the emergency departments um, are as busy as the middle of winter at present um, and it could be quite a, a tough few months ahead. Our demands through IAPT, through the um, requirements for admissions in AMH, remain really challenging. Uh, thank you for the staff that continue to, to work in these services. And the board explored a number of ways that we could help to um, ease the pressures and, for example, example, increase flow and enable people to get home quicker. So another good conversation. We had a, a really good conversation summarising the work we're doing around the culture and values work and the introduction of the Just Cultures programme. We've also just kicked off our replacement for the Leadership Council called Connected Knots. Um, and last month we had our first meeting of over 200 staff from across the organisation came to the, the first meeting of those at Trent Vineyard. There's lots of opportunity to get involved across all different levels of leadership in the organisation. I'm really keen that everybody's got a part to play um, and contributing to how we can move the trust forward across all these domains, particularly relating to culture and values. And we're already starting to see some, some really good feedback and, and evidence of, of transformational change across this domain. And I'm really excited about where this can get us uh, for the future. Um, finally, just a couple of things. You'll have noticed the fantastic poster behind me, Take 10, the National Staff Survey is now live for this year. It's a critically important piece, I'm sure you're probably fed up with me banging on about it, that we get your feedback about what it's like to, to work in Knox Healthcare. And over the last few years, our response rate's not been as good as it could be. Um, so get those forms filled in either on paper or electronically um, and give us some feedback on the trust. Um, the second bit is in relation to winter, the Flu jabs are now available and it's start, time to start getting your vaccines. Um, they're available from lots of different sites across the Trust and details are available on Connect. Um, we did really well last year in terms of numbers of uh, percentage of coverage and it's really important that we continue to um, strive to beat that number. So thanks very much for all you're doing. It's a bit like back to school, new term, lots to do before. Christmas. Thank you for everything that you're doing.